exchange one about cable and controller for NAMI Klima. And necessary two will be five milliatom key zip tie scissor. This is the cover for this section and all the paper cable will be high in this position. There will be four bolts and four nuts connect this part into the frame. And you will need a seven millimeter winch and three millimeter Allen key. And uh, these two are for the battery and controller output. This one is for the charging port. The charging port is fixed on the cover like this. And uh, the first thing you need to understand is that on the cable system, they are all the same among the models. This one is for the DC converter. It's for the 12 volt uh, lights and 12 volt homes. And this two big connector is for the controller, between controller and dashboard and thread and everything like this. And make sure all the pins are connected directly without misconnection. And this one is for the controllers. And this one is for the light and hole, light, and this one is for the hole. And uh, this cable here need to be under through the light and cable, light and uh, hole cables. And uh, the controller is fixed by the bolt underneath this plate. The two bolts for the controller are through, as you, as uh, you release the bolt, the controller are able to be detached from the plate. And for the front motor cable, is hung up like here with the cover and wrapped. For the rear motor motor cable, it goes through the frame. Goes through the frame between the section of the frame and the battery box, and goes through here. And there's connect here for the motor easy uh, detachment. And also the light cable was here. On other side, there is only brake cables. So in case you have to exchange the rear controller, you will have to unscrew all this bolt here and lift up the battery from the frame. So you have access to the cable here. The cable are fixed to this uh, frame, this two, by the cable holders. And for this little cable here, these are speed limit cables. And uh, only for some area we will hang up the cable outside. Most of the scooter doesn't have the cable outside, only have cable inside here. Right now I'm going to show you how to uh, put cable together and make sure the cover could be closed, easy and tight. Are you ready to start? So you need zip ties and scissors now. The first step, you put around the battery cable like this, and you have zip tie the battery table with the controller here. Mm. Go to the bottom of the cables, and uh, tie up the battery cable and keep it down. Same for the other side, just make sure these two cables, the light hole cable, are underneath of the battery cable here. Go through all the way to the bottom. Zip tie them. And next, DC converters. Place them between the cables for the two controllers and place underneath. And uh, these two cables are main wires and uh, make a zip tie. And you fold the cable into the space between the two controllers. 
and fold it again. So this main connector, the biggest one connector, is right sit right between the controllers and make another zip tie. And then you have these two cables. Go underneath. And tie it to the battery cable or anything that is around. Same for the other side. All the cable here are waterproof. The controller is fully silicon. The battery is fully silicon sealed. So technically, this is uh, free of the water damage. And uh, the last step, you will. Now it's sealed, right? Yes. We're going to. Yeah, first this, or sealed it, then sealed it. 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 And first, you connect the charging port to the charging cable of the controllers. And then you put the scooter in these positions. And the main cable, you use the three pins. And do that somehow. Use the pin to push in through the holes. You can lift that to cover first. So one pin is down, second pin is down, then maybe third pin is down. Once all the pins are down and if the cable are placed in the right position, you could push the cover down. But three shots. And once the cover is pushed down, you start to fix in the bolt inside. Use the Allen key. Sometimes you have to adjust the position a little bit, but eventually the bolt will come out. The tricky part is here actually. Once the first bolt is coming down, things will be much easier. Try it all. Okay, so like this, the bolt is coming out. You use the nut to tighten down a little bit. How? And then you put the second bolt. This is the belt one. And remove one pin and put put inside one bowl. And you repeat this process and everything can be coming out easily. Find out, ma. This is a bit hard, a bit tight, I feel. It's not too tight. So like this, the second bolt is coming out. Again, you use a nut, and uh, you use a nut to tighten down, hmm. tighten down the bolts, and then you remove another pin, and do this. And finally, you use the wrench together with the Allen key, so it could be all fixed into the frame. The cover could be fit into the frame. 好了，不用拆，不用洗了。你这里要打出来的话，你是盖子要松掉才能拿那个拿拿到电视来。So we going to remove the cover right now to show you. 对，把它拆出来。You use wrench here. 悬悬出，悬出，把它拆掉。拆掉它。对，拆掉再拆一下电视就好了。And remove all the nuts. 
This is how you can how you need to disassemble the things. So when this happens, you just have to give a push, the cover will come out. Once the cover comes out, disconnect the port here, so you have free access to the cable and controller. Let's try this, give it a try. Don't cut it, don't cut it. If you cut it, it's not good. 里面, yes. Uh, so, if you want to have access to the battery box to remove the battery out of the scooters, you have disconnect these two zip ties. So you have free access to the battery cables. To need to do is just to remove connectors. Then battery is free from the frame. You can use a five milliampere key or use a electric gun like this. The total six volts. When the bolt is disconnected, the battery could be lift up from the bottom, like this. And you can see how the cable is hung up inside the frame by the cable holder here, light cable and the motor cable here. And when you have to remove the controller, you have to lose the bolt here, so the cable could come out, you can pull the controller out like this. And this side is brick cable. Same for when you have to replace the calipers. You have to remove the battery, remove the cover, remove the battery, and remove the cable holder here to pull the thing out. Or you could simply just unscrew this nut and remove the caliber from here. That's all to show here. And the battery does come with fuse. The fuse is inside these covers. And inside this cover, this is a fully silicon sealed around somewhere around here. There will be another independent video show you how to replace the fuse. But for most of cases, the lifetime of the battery use is the fuse will be most likely not need to be replaced. That's all to share here.